It's amazing. It's so many wonderful experiences. I get to travel around the world. I'm hanging out with the hockey players. I'm meeting uh, you know, new fans every day, uh, working with the media and uh, anybody associated with sport. Basically kind of a historian too. I talk to the fans and answer their questions and let them know all about the Stanley Cup. I couldn't believe it. I didn't think it was real and then freaked out a little bit. I'm a huge hockey fan. I've never actually gotten to see the, the real Stanley Cup, so it's just crazy. I don't call myself a bodyguard. A lot of other people do. I, I guess um, I call myself like a, a, a handler or I get all kinds of different terms, but um, I, I'm basically, I, I call myself the babysitter. I kind of make a joke out of it in a way, but uh, I, you know, I, I say that jokingly, but it is a serious job. It's uh, something that uh, requires um, some patience, especially um, you have to go with the flow sometimes. And I just, I thought of all the, all the champions NHL, like really throughout all of history and how all of them touched that trophy and how this was like a piece of history that I was partaking in, just getting a picture of. It's like I said, once in a lifetime, pretty exciting. It's 36 inches tall, it weighs 37 and a half pounds, it's made of sterling silver, it's insured for $1.5 million, but in essence it's uh, priceless. It's a very unique job, that's for sure. Fans will come up and they'll share their stories with us and they're so excited to meet us and sometimes we kind of wonder, you know, why, but, uh, you know, it, we always think it should be about the cup, but I think they generally care about, you know, what we do on the road and they want to hear our stories and it, it just adds to the whole, you know, experience.